Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss the first three problems from the lead code weekly contest 245. So I haven't been like uh, worked on a video on this contest. So that's why I'm making a video on this. So I will discuss the first three problems. The first problem is uh, not too difficult. It just states that you are given a string or like you are given an array of words and what you can do in each operation, you can take any character from any string and can take that character to any other string so like it it means that you can jumble any words okay now you can jumble out any words in any of like any character of any of these words you can like jumble it anywhere out okay now the final problem is can you make all the words equal can you somehow make all the words equal now it can so it's a very simple problem you can make every word equal if you can evenly distribute all the characters in all the words what i mean by this is so let's assume that the total number of words which can be possible in this whole array is three so you have to maintain that every word which you have should be having the frequency which should be a multiple of three such that you can divide them into an order of three so if a occurs a should be somehow three, six, nine, or so on. So that if there are three A's, then you can put one A A A. And if there are more A's, then it should be again A A. If it is not in the order of like multiple of three, then it will be not be in your answer. I hope you get the point. So it's very simple. What you can do, just find out the frequency of every word, every character in each word. Okay, just find out a cumulative frequency of all the characters, and then just check that whether every character is a multiple of n and is the length of the whole array which is consisting of all the words if it is a multiple then the answer is yes because somehow we can like uh, distribute all of these characters else the answer is no so i hope you get the point so this is the simple code you can make a frequency uh, somehow a vector of frequency in which you can store all the frequencies now what you can do you can iterate over each word and then in each word you have to iterate over all the characters in each particular word and just find out or actually make a frequency map so this is j j is representing every character we are iterating over every character of each word and because we have to convert because see the character is in character form the the type of that character is character now we have to convert it to an integer such that we can store them in a frequency map you can also use a map to store that but uh, instead of that what you can do you can subtract the sky character of the particular character from the sky character of a because everything is in lower letter so it will convert to an uh, integer at itself and then you can add that into the frequency map in the end after that this eventually will store out the frequency of every character cumulative over all the words and then you just iterate over all the words in f every character and just check that whether everything is a multiple of n if anything doesn't turn out to be a multiple of n the answer is false else the answer is true okay. the second problem is good it states that you are given a string s and a string p okay so as you can see a string s and a string now what you can do here is the question is stating you that there is also a array which is called removable now the removable array has some indexes now this indexes will if, like will tell you that if you remove out so as you can see i'll also tell you in simple terms p is a subsequence of s okay subsequence means that if you delete out some characters from s then you can form p if you as you can see if you take this a and this b you can form p or you can take this a or this b okay you can just like delete out some characters from this s string and then you can form the uh, string p oh, which is fine but now the problem is can you delete out some of the so this is given you some indexes in the string s can you delete out some indexes okay so can you delete out these indexes from s such that the string p remains a subsequence of s I will get the point. So you have to find out what is the continuous stretch of numbers you can delete out from S such that after deleting out all those indexes, P remains the subsequence of S. Okay. So you have to find out a continuous stretch of indexes you must be removing from this S. So you cannot take out any random characters or like uh, integers from removable. Removable is consisting of different indexes 
you can you can remove from s okay but you have to take only those indexes which should be in an order okay so as you can see you can either take three you can either delete three or you can delete three and one you can delete three one and zero it cannot happen that you delete three or zero like or three and zero you have to delete the indexes in a particular order and you have to find out what is the maximum length or the maximum length up to which you can delete out some indexes from s which is given in removable such that p remains as a subsequence of s that's a simple explanation i hope you get the point so i will tell you in simple terms as you can see this is s okay if you remove the first uh, character which is third character which is like zero indexing so a if you remove out a whether still a b is a subsequence of s yes if you remove out a then also you can make a subsequence if you remove out one which is like this b then also a b is a subsequence yes this a and this b it is still a subsequence whether if i delete out zero also if i delete out zero then there is no way that i a b is a subsequence so up till one like up till this index if you take out two uh, like a stretch of continuous length of two you can remove out from the removable such that after that it is still a subsequence of s i hope you get the point so now how to approach this problem uh, at the first thing is like see in how much time can you check a, like whether a particular string is a subsequence of other like in what is the time complexity to check it the time complexity to check is uh, like o of the length of the smallest string or like the length of the largest string so uh, like the maximum you can do is iterate over the largest string and then you can check that whatever is the largest string which is s okay so the time complexity can be so how you can check that the, the, the simplest way can be uh, just take two pointers okay this is the s string like this is somewhat the s string and this is the p string which is somewhat smaller so so what you can do here is just take two pointers one is here and one is here if they are same if these two characters are same then just make this character go to the next character and then we can keep on doing this such that if like another you can go forward and this character and this character are same so like move this character to the next point because i have to somehow find out all those characters which are matching okay so if it is somewhat like this a b c d e and this can be a c and e so you see that okay i will put one pointer on s and one pointer the starting of p a and a are matching so we'll make a pointer to go uh, to go to b and then this is a then b is not matching c is matching so okay c is and c is matching so it is just telling me that okay after removing out some characters okay s and p are somewhat matching and after iterating over the whole string in s if this is in the end it means that i have iterated over the whole characters of p and everything is find out in s in the same order then obviously it is a uh, like subsequence so you can find out in o of s the length of s okay so it can be done like in o of n only so we can find out in o of n but what is the point like what is the key at which we should stop and that's the one thing you can easily understand is like up to one point like up to one point it is possible after that even if you go after that you cannot generate an answer what i mean by this is let's in that let's assume for this example one is there which means that if you take out this like only the first character like the only the character which is three if you take out that then if you go ahead like if i take out this two also like the, it is not possible if i take three like if i take one obviously it is not possible if i even go further up till two it is not possible if i take more characters it is obviously not possible and before that if you take like uh, like in this before if i take one it is possible if i take two it is possible but if i can take zero and after that it is not possible so it means that there is some like it is like a uh, like a somewhat as i told you uh, a jumping function in which like at which it is like on for some time and after a certain point it turns out off so it's like a function in which up to a certain value uh, it is giving a correct answer but after a certain value it just uh, turns out that this, this is not possible so it means that in such a problem binary search is obviously better and you can easily see that uh, according to the constraint you can easily do that so you can just simply what you can do find out the middle point of iterate over this whole removable array and find out up to which point i can take so you can just take a middle point take one pointer at this left and one pointer at the right take out the middle point and just check that whether at this middle point whether it is possible to uh, like take all the elements till that point and it is forming a subsequence if it is forming a subsequence then obviously i can increase this 
okay and uh, like try to try to increase this whole level and if it is not then try to decrease it and that's the whole answer okay? i hope you get the point so uh, that's the whole code uh, as you can see this is removable and this is l and r okay and this is like the for loop if uh, like i will just check this okay function if this okay function is returning out true which means that it is okay then we'll make my left go to the mid okay else if it is not possible which means that uh, i have taken this length this middle point and it is not giving a particular answer so if i not giving the particular answer i will not consider that point also so i will make my right pointer go mid minus one okay and then the answer is obviously left and what you can see in this okay function just take the like just give sp which is like the both the strings a removable array and also mid mid is the point at which we have to take okay then uh, what you can do here is uh what you can do here is i am giving the indexes okay if this index is there in s we don't have to consider that because you have deleted those, those index we only have to consider the indexes which are not like which are present there so what you can do you can make a map of the of the indexes in this removable array because we have to remove that up to the middle point okay we just mark them out and then uh, you just do the same thing uh, like the two pointer technique uh, one is over s and one over the p and we just have to do the one thing here is like if the current index is deleted out then we don't have to take that index into consideration so before taking any uh, index we'll just check that whether this index is present in removable if it is present then continue out else if both the index at i and like a p like i and j over s and p are matching then make your j plus plus else if they are not matching uh, you can just keep on increasing your i such that if at any point your j becomes equal to like the length of that uh, array p or like the string p which means that you have a uh, process over all the characters in p the answer is true as the answer is false okay so i hope you get the point you can see the code here uh, it is uh, if you understand the logic then the code will become very easy for you and the last problem is the last problem is, is just stating that you are given and triplet array like an array of triplets and what you can do here is you can take any two you can take any two triplets and what you can do you can convert like if you take two triplets i and j you can convert the triplet j equal to like you can modify it equal to maximum of a i a j maximum of b i b j and c i c j so it means that if you take two triplets the one triplet is the i triplet and j triplet and the i triplet is somewhat like a i b i c i and the other three is a j b j and c j then you can convert the j triplet which is equal to maximum of the maximum of the first elements the second elements and the third elements okay and that's what we're going to do and then after that what we can what we can see here is can we convert after doing somewhat these operations can we convert any of the triplets in this triplet array equal to a target value can we convert that now like it's a basic problem what you can do just take all the triplets which are having the value like see because we are we like we obviously want to maximize my answer to the target value like if we take out any uh, triplet which is like which is having any value more than my target value then obviously see if i take a triplet which is having 100 at this point if i take that triplet and my target is 5 at this point if i take that triplet it will become the maximum element and it will overshoot my answer and that will be not acceptable for me so i will only take that triplets such that all the three values will be less than or equal to my target value i hope you get the point so if it is less than or equal to target value if i take only those triplets it will somewhat increase my answer or make my answer close to the target value because if i want to maximize my answer like because every value will be maximizing it will come as close to the maximum value it cannot overshoot because every value is below my target value see i will take any triplet and find out whether all of these values all the three values in the triplet should be less than or equal to a target value so it means that if i take out any triplet the maximum value it can go is the target value if it is equal to target value then it is fine because like i want to maximize the answer if it is less than then maybe in the next triplets in the further triplets it can increase the value and it can become to the target value but it cannot happen that it should overshoot the target value because if it overshoot then we cannot do that and that's the whole logic like uh, nothing else so what you can do here is uh, you can make an answer vector like just a temporary vector to store out whether we can equal to the uh, final answer and because everything is positive just any slice because you have to make the everything uh, maximum uh, any slice it with minus one iterate over every triplet and if the particular triplet value like the ith triplet if you take let iterate over every triplet the first triplet value is less than equal to target first value 
the triplet second value is equal to less than equal to target second value the third value is less than equal to tar target third value if every these three things hold then what will happen we will maximize my answer will with the like with a triplet value and in the end if my the answer becomes equal to triplet then the answer is good because that's what we want else like if we have taken all the values home, because we have taken all the values we have no other options see if i have other options then if i take out any other triplet then obviously it will overshoot i have taken all the triplets which are having less than equal to target value i cannot take more so if you have taken all the values and it is still not make it equal to target then it is not possible so i hope you get the point so that's why we have done so if it turns out to be target value then the answer is true as answer is false okay i had i hope you get the point so uh, uh, that's the solution for the three problems if you have any doubts you can mention now i'll send like i'll send the next one till then keep coding hand by